Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use my latest plugin, Bookomatic uh, Google Books Post Generator plugin for WordPress. So to use this plugin, click Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, choose File Navigator, Zip File, Download it, click Install now. After the quick installation process, be sure to activate the plugin like this. After the activation, go to plugin settings. <coughs> first thing first, you must uh, have a Google Books API key. To get one, click here. You will be redirected to the uh, Google APIs project uh, dashboard. If you wait to up this to appear, click create credentials, click API key. You will get this pop up with the API key you requested. Copy it and paste it here. Don't bother using this API key because I will delete it after I end this video. Okay, now just to be sure that importing will work for you, click on APIs and Services. Click on Enable APIs and Services and search for Book. Select Google Books API and click Enable here. I already have enabled it and this is why for me it says Disabled. Be sure to have it enabled. Okay, after all this you can close this window and go back to the plugin. <coughs> I will be back to this part of the plugin. These are advanced settings. Let's head now to latest books to posts. Here we can input query strings to create posts. Let's have a look how does our blog look like right now. Let's say I want to import uh, books. <coughs> Game of Thrones related books. I want to rule, run this rule every 24 hours. So every 24 hours this rule will run and will import books. Maximum books 10 at once. A book should be published. Uh, item type should be post. Here will appear also every <coughs> custom post type that you have enabled on your blog post author admin and some advanced settings generated post title here are some short codes you can use these short codes to change the title generated post content here are some also more short codes to use in the generated post content by default you will get the item media that is the image of the book the description a live preview that will be embedded in your page a live preview reader and a read more button that will point to the Google Books page of the uh, current book. Get only downloadable books that have download link. Book filtering, you can select partial, full, only ebooks, free or paid. A book print type, books magazines. A post search offset, you can input here a number of books to skip from the beginning of the result set uh, book result sorting you can sort by real relevance or newest strip images from content limit title word count disable post excerpt generated post format you can select any post format that your uh, current uh, team supports additional post categories you can select multiple if you hold the control key down auto post categories uh, from these remove wordpress default post categories auto post tags additional post tags enable comments pick back trackbacks auto get featured image default featured image if no image found you can input here a link an image link now save settings the rule is created now let's run it Rule running shouldn't take very long. Let's refresh our blog. And it is already finished. 
Game of Thrones related books. So let's have a look at the first one. Here is the featured image, uh, a short description and the preview, the embedded reading preview. Here you can read the book if you want. Also the read more button that will link to the Google Play Books where you can get the book. Also note that the free sample will be the same with the uh, book that appears the, in the preview. So in the preview you will get the free sample. Okay. So this is the main important part. You can check also the activity and logging section. <coughs> Here you will see which rules are running right now. You can restore plugin default settings. You can delete all posts generated by this plugin or view plugins activity log. Okay. Now let's head back here. Uh, do not check for duplicate posts. If you check this, then duplicate posts will be posted. Also, if Po uh, if book already was posted it will be posted once again if you check this strip links from generated post content you can strip links show extended item information meta box I'll show you right now what this is if you click on a post you will see this meta box appear with additional information about the book so if you uncheck this this will disappear Also, uh, you can enable logging for rules, enable detailed logging for rules. You can automatically clear logs once, in, logs once in a period. You can set timeout for rule running. If a rule runs more than this amount of seconds, it will be automatically be stopped. You can send a rule running summary to this email address. Minimum title work and maximum title work and minimum content work and maximum content work and ban word list, required word list. These are posting restrictions. If the post does not meet these uh, restrictions, it will not be published. Required or words from the required word list. If you uncheck this, only one word is required, not all. If you check this, all required word lists or, or required words from the required word lists are uh, required. <laughs> Featured image resize height and width. You can resize the featured image to the size you desire. Strip HTML elements by ID or by class. You can strip elements from the content. Skip both that do not have images. Automatically translate using Google Translate to any uh, language. High Google Translate pop up. Spin text using word synonyms. Uh, built in. This is, uh, this is what I recommend and also free other methods from which one is paid and two are free you can also modify the embedded uh, book reader you can disable it here or resize the its size width and height also a random sentence generator you can define here or here sentences using with these two short codes this is uh, these sentences have variables in them. You can define values for variables here. So these variables will be replaced at random with the values for the variables you define, and also a sentence will be selected at random from these. Custom HTML code add code. You can define here custom HTML or custom add codes. You can use them with these uh, short codes if you dis if you want. And also affiliate keyword replacer tool. Search for this keyword, replace it with this keyword and add a link to it. So this is all. I hope you will enjoy this plugin. Have fun using it. Until next time. Bye bye.